Hello my lovely subscribers, today I'll be coloring another one of my artwork pieces that I did, starting off with the color red and coloring in one of the bigger ribbons, I guess you can call it ribbons, I think they were, I don't know, I can't remember what I had them as, but I, th but I think it was a ribbon or string or something wrapped around this Ichigo blade. I was pulling out more colors at this point. <laughs> like another purple and like two more blues and I'm telling you that I uh, grabbed out a couple more, had uh, some more things taken out. Now back to the coloring. Now for the next color, which I believe was purple. Yeah, purple. Filling in another ribbon thingy. Now, of course, same with the last one. Um, I color like a child. So, of course, it's out of the lines. But I don't care too much. Now I'm going in with the darker blue that I had out and coloring in another ribbon. I really liked the blues on this one. It really gave it color. Now I grabbed the lighter one and just color in another ribbon. And I also decided to grab a couple more colors out of the uh, marker thing that I had next to me. And I apparently grabbed green. I don't know how well it worked, but I guess it did something. And then I grabbed a pink. Or another purple. I, I can't really tell. And then I grabbed a very light purple. Which almost looks like a lilac if I would have lightened the color up. And then I left the last one other than the one that was on the sword white while I used uh, like this mm, skin tone color just to give the f the sword color in the handle too because the handle is wrapped up in in the same cloth and then of course I changed the color of the sword I think I made it a little too dark like the last one
just filling in all that space. And if you guys do enjoy this content, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.